Remember when our ancestors used to write on plates or stones? Do you ever wonder what would have occurred if we hadn't had modern technologies and AI? Hello, curious minds. Welcome to today's episode of Fantastic Dataset and where to find them, where we explore one of the most iconic datasets in machine learning and computer vision, the MNIST dataset. So, what exactly is MNIST? MNIST stands for Modified National Institute of Standards and Technology. It is a dataset of handwritten digits from zero to nine, widely used for training and testing machine learning models in applications such as image classification. Jan LeCun and Corinna Cortez developed this dataset by remixing samples from NIST's original datasets in 1998. This dataset has been studied so much that it is often called the hello world of data scientists. Now let's dive deep into our dataset MNIST. The dataset consists of 70,000 grayscale images. There are no color channels here. Each image in the MNIST dataset is just 28 by 28 pixels in size. That's a total of 784 pixels per image, making it computationally lightweight and ideal for quick experimentation. As for the class labels, MNIST has 10 classes representing the digits 0 through 9. These labels correspond directly to the digit in the image. Now about the train test split. The dataset is neatly organized. The training set contains a balanced distribution of 60,000 samples, while the test set has 10,000. This allows for fair evaluation without any overlap between training and testing data. It's a well pre processed dataset where images are centered, scaled to fit within the 28 by 28 grid, and normalized in grayscale values from 0 to 255, where 0 is black and 255 is white. These values are stored as 8-bit unsigned integers. While MNIST is the classic benchmark, there are other MNIST datasets available, such as Fashion MNIST, which consists grayscale images of 10 different clothing categories. MNIST, an expanded version of MNIST, containing handwritten digits and letters based on the NIST dataset. KMNIST, which is handwritten Kuzushiji characters, so on which add variety for different machine learning challenges. How to get this dataset? As MNIST is a publicly available dataset, you can find it with simply by just searching for it online and downloading it to your computer. For example, you can find the Kaggle URL to this dataset and download it to your computer. Four files are included here, along with their sizes and contents. The first is training set images, while the second is the training set's labels. The rest of the test images, including testing set images and testing set labels, followed the same pattern. The data is in IDX format, which may be accessible with Python libraries such as NumPy and Struct. Additionally, this dataset is also available at GitHub and Hugging Face. Another way for getting this dataset is to import it. For that, First, we have to import the MNIST library from tensorflow.keras.datasets. Once you have imported the MNIST library, use the load data method to import the data into training and test variables. In this example, X contains images and Y contains the numerical value an image represents. Train contains data you should use to train your model and test contains data you should use to evaluate model performance. You can use the following code to display the shapes of each variable after importing the dataset. Here's a snapshot of the sample images randomly selected from the dataset. Now let's look at the pixel value generating process of the MNIST dataset. After importing the necessary libraries, the code loads the MNIST dataset using TensorFlow, splitting it into training and testing sets, where images are 28 by 28 pixel matrices and labels are integers digits 0 through 9. Then it checks the data types and dimensions of the training and testing sets for verification. The pixel values of the training and testing images are normalized to the range 0 to 1, 
by dividing by 255 for easier model training. The training labels are further split into a validation set, first 5,000 samples, and the remaining 55,000 are used for training. The shapes of the training and validation datasets are checked for correctness. Finally, an image from the dataset is visualized using plt.imshow with a binary color map to display the digit in grayscale. Here, you can see the pixel values at each pixel generated using this method. Let us develop a model to accurately classify digits in the MNIST dataset. We implemented a convolutional neural network to classify images from the MNIST dataset. It starts by loading the data, reshaping the images into 4D tensors, 28 by 28 pixels with one color channel, and normalizing pixel values to the range 0 to 1. The labels are converted into one hot encoded format using to categorical. This is a technique that converts categorical variables into binary vectors, where each category is represented by a unique vector with a single one and all other positions as zero. The CNN is built using Keras with a sequential model. It includes three convolutional layers with 64 filters, a 3x3 three three kernel size, ReLU activation, and same padding to preserve image dimensions. Each convolutional layer is followed by a pooling layer to reduce the spatial size of the feature maps. The final feature maps are flattened into a 1D vector. A dropout layer is added to prevent overfitting, and the final layer is a dense softmax layer with 10 output units that represent the 10-digit classes. The model is compiled using the Adam Optimizer, Categorical Cross-Entropy Loss, and Accuracy as the evaluation metric. Finally, the model is trained on the training data for five epochs with a batch size of 64, and its summary provides the architecture details and parameter counts. Our model has an accuracy of over 99%, showing that it can correctly recognize handwritten digits almost every time. After saving our model, we verified its performance using our own handwritten numbers. We scanned the handwritten digits, assigned file names corresponding to their respective values, uploaded them, and performed pre-processing steps, including cropping, scaling, and normalization, to ensure they were in the appropriate format for our model. Here, you can see the processed digits. Finally, we tested our model on randomly selected handwritten digit images, demonstrating its ability to accurately recognize and predict each digit. Every handwritten digit could be accurately predicted by our model. Now let's take a look at the FAIR principle of the MNIST dataset to evaluate how FAIR it is. First, let's understand what FAIR represents. FAIR is an acronym for findable, accessible, interoperable, and reusable. The FAIR data principles state that it should be possible to find research data. There should be information about how to gain access to them. They should be compatible with other data and possible to reuse. Our dataset, MNIST, is findable because we are able to find it simply by searching for it, and it is accessible as we can get this data set without having to look for additional authentication and authorization procedures. This data set is interoperable since it can be accessed, exchanged, integrated, and used collectively across organizational boundaries. And lastly, it is reusable given that we can use this data set for other reasons. Therefore, we can conclude that MNIST is a fair data set. In conclusion, the MNIST dataset is a basic benchmark for testing machine learning models, especially for image classification. Despite its simplicity, it remains a valuable tool for introducing key concepts in deep learning and model evaluation. Thank you for joining us for this introduction to the MNIST dataset. I hope you found this video informative. To learn more about different datasets, please subscribe to our channel for future videos.